Hello everyone, it's Rugio Duelist back with another video. It's been a while, I know it's been like two months. Uh, I did say I was gonna do like a quick, uh, like a hand trap video uh, and, and a board breaker video. So I'll try to do a speed run here real quick. Try to make it like a minute, maybe five uh, more or less. But here we go, let's get started. A zoom in, let's start with this one. Engraver of the Mark, not its format, not good right now. Contact C. So so, not the best. Sneaky C, not the best. No, not its format. Not. Same thing for your for Vados. Ally of Justice Cycle Reader. Nope. Uh, uh, very specific. Skullmeister. Slightly weaker uh, effect veiler for the graveyard. Got again, guys. It's all my personal opinion. Lancia, not its format yet. Hope this card. Uh, probably it'll be its format pretty soon. Chaos Hunter, same thing. Like a weaker Lancia, but still pretty strong on the field. Has some. Oh, has some combos with Sprite or something like that. Has like a combo with Sprite and with the uh, with a rank two XCs. Moving on, the Rescue Ace uh, package. It's decent, not the best, but it's pretty decent if you want to run it. All right, that's continuing on. Fantasme, not its best format. Uh, very specific ish. It's okay. Gamma and Delta. It's at one, at three. You can run two, one or three, one. Uh, a little bit more specific, but it's it's still an okay tech. Cross out and call by. Yes, very useful. Play them. Curry Photon prevents OTK. Maybe one to two. Not the best. Like, maybe not main deckable, but opt to personal preference. The Seas. Flying Seas and Retaliating Sea. Not its format right now. Very good against Snake Eye Azamina Fiendsmith or Snake Eye Azamina and like any deck that relies heavily on the graveyard. Very decent. Like, good in like main or side right now. Personal preference. Uh, the three. Uh, Ghost Sisters, three of the six Ghost Sisters. Uh, Ghost Ogre, very good right now. Mourner, not that great. Decent-ish. And Ghost Bell, I don't think it's that great as well either. I would say definitely this one is like main to side deck. These two are probably like side deck or don't play them at all. Per personal preference. This is th three of the Ghost Sisters. Moving on. All right, guys. Uh, Effect Vader, yeah. Sta main deck staple for most decks. Ghost Reaper, very underrated. Play it if you want to. I know you like, uh, yeah, uh, Life Point Game, Maxi and Time. Spooky Dogwood, uh, personal preference, very good in the side. Nibiru, 50-50, uh, but it's very, very strong. Droll, same thing, 50-50, very, very strong. Maybe not max out, maybe main deck two or side deck two. GD Crow, uh, okay-ish. A little bit specific, but it's very, very strong and decent. The Bestials, very, very good, very, very... Uh, strong. Again, uh, main deck side, personal preference. Main deck staple, mandatory. Yes, play it. Play it. It uh, stops. Uh, can still stop turns if you uh, hit the your opponent's main. Uh, oh, crap, Christ. Your opponent's... Uh, uh, a very specific card that your opponent plays. God card, max, uh, mini maxi from the hand. Stops turns, like, obviously, like... Go to Hand Trap. Uh, slightly weaker Ash for specific decks. Very, very powerful starting on Dorita. Do not underestimate this card. And the new Trap card, Dominus Impulse, which literally... Uh, uh, it is a uh, Solemn Strike from the hand, like Solemn card from the hand-ish, but it's just as powerful as Ash. And that's it, guys. That's the speed run, like, going around, like, uh, almost four minutes. And uh, I got it. Did not forget about this one, though. Goaded. Max C. So, yeah, there you have it. Four-minute marks. All right, guys. Hope you like the speed run. I'll try to do better with these speed run videos. I'll be doing one shortly on uh, board breakers. That's it. That's my uh, hand trap speed run video. Hopefully, you guys understood this. Uh, enjoy, guys. I'll be back soon.